right, Sylvie? Yes. Do you know this one, Secret Love? I've heard it. Yeah. You've heard it? Okay. Yeah. Do you remember I know it, yeah. Very yeah. old one, isn't it? Very old. <laughs> I know the yeah, old ones, ones these are. I know this is right. Yeah, I know all these. <laughs> 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 delightful actually. Um, it was all quite uncertain uh, at the beginning because it was very new for them. I don't think they'd ever done any music improvisation before. So it took quite a few weeks to, to get them warmed up and myself. You know, we were just sort of coming together as a group. Um, <clears throat> and so it's been really interesting how, how they've developed um, and got to really enjoy it. Um, and the most amazing thing is um, just all the songs that have come out. You know, I brought songs in for them to sing and then sort of very spontaneously they've started coming out with their own music, which comes from I don't know where, but they just start singing songs. And then as they get more used to playing with the instruments, they've just been singing the songs and then they started playing along. And so we've ended up creating a whole kind of musical situation, which certainly wasn't expected. Um, I came in just to do music improvisation. That was my brief from uh, the University of Chichester. That's that's who organised it. Was, well, I set the project up, but there, it's part of a research project. Um, so it's been fascinating, really fascinating, and, and really great to work with uh, the group. Yeah. Uh, I've enjoyed it immensely. And what is interesting is that older people, um, generally preferring a sing song around a piano or a guitar, have actually really embraced the idea of playing different types of ethnic percussion. And they actually ended up, some of the occasions, enjoying that more than the actual sing songs. But Phil split the sessions quite skillfully into 45 minutes of trying out percussion workshops and then another 45 minutes of, of proper songs and taking requests. And from what I could gather, because I wasn't in attendance every session, but from what I could gather, towards the end, they were marrying the two styles very well, where a rhythm was started by the group and someone would just pick up with a song from a show or a song from their memory, um, and which they did today in the performance. And uh, it was great because that's a real sort of um, recognition of how they feel as a group. They really feel comfortable um, getting into a rhythm and striking it up and feeling, feeling a part of being in the moment even. Uh, there have been times when I've come in halfway through the sessions and I can hear the cowbell or an instrument that sounds very much like a cowbell. I could hear it halfway down the street and it was in time and I'm thinking, yeah, they are really getting better at keeping a rhythm and sticking to it. And, uh, and that's the important thing. You could feel that they really loved it to bits. And Gladys White especially, she loves striking up a rhythm on her own. And of course Peggy Brown, very um, outgoing, very much the star of the show and pulling songs like Rabbits Out of the Hat songs that you vaguely remember as in the Davy Crockett tune you know and uh, you can't help but laugh think where's that come from but it's uh, it's good fun and good fun for all of us really you're actually starting with your little xylophone there what starting what start? yeah, just start playing what do you feel like Play a bit no let somebody else and I'll, I'll play well, just start playing if you're on your own hmm? just start playing it 
The other side. Other end. The other yeah, way. No, no, it's fine. Whatever she does. Don't make any noise the other side. Yeah. You know what she's doing? Well, there's been a lot of laughter and a lot of fun, and um, yeah, I, I, I know that they have, and and it's just been a pleasure, you know, every week to come in and do different things and, and see them enjoying themselves, and they've been talking and chatting and telling stories, uh, and again, that was all really unexpected. Um, so I, th I think it's and it's sort of dug into their musical memories. Uh, I do, yes. I think it's increased their confidence um, as a group. They've embraced musical styles they wouldn't have thought of before and, and ethnic percussion they've probably never even seen before. Um, one particular person, not a million miles from here, thought that uh, the little marimba were uh, a mouse trap, which was interesting. And um, so I think it's been quite an education for all of them. And they love the sounds that the percussive instruments produce. Uh, but they've all been very fair in taking turns with one another and no one hogging one particular instrument. It's all been done in a great spirit of fun and, and discovery, really.
Thank you very much for the music group. Did they do that?